After getting used to competing for the Formula One title with several consecutive constructors' championship victories, Mercedes had to adapt to a new reality with the introduction of the current technical regulations. Outside the title contention, the German team managed only one victory in this new era, while witnessing Red Bull completely dominate the category. When asked about how he dealt with the failure in the last two years, Mercedes team principal, Toto Wolff, admitted that it hasn't been easy. You need to ask the team how it was to deal with me, not the other way around. We are all in this together. We knew there would come a day when everything would be more complicated, but it wasn't as we expected, Wolf highlighted, because the scenario we had in mind was, it will be tough to win the championship, we are winning races, but we know where we are losing performance. And suddenly, that wasn't the case, so you need to manage your expectations. It's very complicated to maintain positivity in our daily personal relationships. Despite the challenges, Wolf stated that the team consistently maintained a positive attitude internally. The no-blame culture, according to the Austrian, played a crucial role in Mercedes' ability to maintain a healthy internal environment, allowing them to continue working on resolving the various deficiencies in the cars over the last two years. It hasn't been straightforward, but I think the strength of the team is there. We know each other so well that we can live with our strengths and weaknesses. Each one of us, in a way, carried the burden at a certain point, when things got tough in the meetings because the results weren't as expected, George Russell had every reason to be upset, but remained positive. Highwell Thomas, the engine manager and his team were extremely important as they simply fulfilled their responsibilities. We never pointed fingers in Brackley. We always supported each other. I believe this cohesion will continue to provide a solid foundation to avoid blaming, emphasized Wolfe. However, the Mercedes team leader acknowledged that the team had different expectations when introducing an innovative concept compared to other teams. By adopting the zero pods, Mercedes started the season with a certain dose of euphoria, but soon realized that the performance would be significantly different from what was imagined during the car's development. The main challenge, in fact, was that the engineers couldn't precisely identify where the mistakes were. At the beginning, we experienced a sense of excitement as we were thrilled with the unique design of the car, featuring a distinctive side structure from all others and without side pods. We made remarkable progress in aerodynamic development, having a car that stood out for its significantly lower height. A few months earlier, we had won the Constructors' Championship and were in contention for the driver's title until the last race. Then suddenly, Everything that seemed certain, in a way, assured that we would be in the race for victories and the championship. However, we found ourselves in a situation where not only were we not achieving that goal, but even the sharpest minds couldn't comprehend where we had made mistakes, lamented Wolf. The car design was retained for the following year, only being abandoned during the Monaco Grand Prix when it became evident that it wouldn't be able to ensure a return to victories. However, due to the cost cap, which was already in effect during the season, the Mercedes team was limited in making more substantial changes to its car. We were aware that some elements of the car were promising, conclusions we had already reached before. Although there were various challenges, it was imperative to adhere to the financial regulations. John Owen, the chief designer, was more focused on ensuring financial correctness than conceiving a new car, evaluated Wolf. Finally, Wolf was clear. The physical approach taken in the car's development was mistaken. The data no longer justified the lack of performance on the track, leading the team to opt for a completely different approach for this year's season. So, we simply made a mistake in physics. It's a ground effect car. Our tools didn't work as well as in other regulations. It's a physical issue, nothing mystical. The main point is to recognize that the data you previously relied on didn't explain what the car was doing on the track. We are doing everything possible to minimize disappointments in the car's development, concluded Wolf. Will Mercedes finally get it right this year?